La Cima Charity Classic 2014 took us deep in the heart of Texas, and Kathy was there to capture some highlights. Even before the sun set over Lake Carolyn, the music was already rocking, the silent auction was already rolling, and everyone was set for a Texas-sized good time. It was the SEMA Club's annual charity classic, and the theme was giving, Texas style. This is our eighth charity classic, and that's what it's called. And we theme it every year, and this year we chose Deep in the Heart of Texas. Why not? We're right, right here in North Texas. I couldn't think of a better theme. If it's true that everything is bigger in Texas, then the charity classic was right on point, supporting not one, but three charities. Where the first two are designated by our parent company. La Cima Club General Manager Mike Gott explained that parent company Club Corp challenged all of their properties to raise money for two important causes, Augie's Quest, which battles Lou Gehrig's disease, and... So the second one, also a very passionate charity, is called the Employee Partner Care Foundation. And that is a fund that's started by uh, Club Corp and it's designed to help our own employees who have fallen on hardened times. In the spirit of taking care of their own, Club Corp also asked each club to support a charity in their own community. For the first time, La Cima Club selected Irving Cares. We do have some great advocates that are members of La Cima Club that were pitching us to, to them so that they could really focus on local and very local, not a national name brand, it's just really just Irving Cares and taking care of the people that are really here. Irving Cares CEO Teddy Story was especially grateful for the support because charitable giving is down throughout the country. We've had a really rough year this year already. Uh, our annual appeal happens in April and that usually raises about eighty thousand dollars consistently over you know historically but this year it raised only forty. But funding from the Charity Classic could help turn that around. This year's event had a goal of $50,000, and they made quite a bit on sponsorships. They hit their sponsorship goal. So tonight, there's going to be a live auction that has some really great travel packages and some really good destination things, but also uh, some fun games here tonight. They're playing Texas Pong, and they're playing Cornhole, you know, all these really cool Texas things. Cool Texas things included great Texas food from La Cima, as well as other local restaurants. A silent auction that featured everything from jewelry, to Texas cocktails, and a live auction designed for fun and raising funds. One, two, three. Slaughter. A big part of our business is giving back to our community, and um, so this is a great progressive opportunity for our members and guests to go around and uh, build relationships and, and get to know one another all in the spirit of giving, so we're excited about it. This is Kathy Whiteman reporting.